Hello again and welcome to my next little online Klezmer Fiddle lesson. In this little lesson I'm going to show you how to play one of the other Klezmer modes, um, one of the scales traditionally used in Klezmer music, um, which is called the Mishabarach mode. M-I-S-H-E-B-E-R-A-K-H. I -E -E um, don't know what the origin of that term is, but it's a cool scale. Um, and I'm going to play it on this my other amazingly funky fiddle, which can be heard in my frankly cool album, the Klezmer Fiddle, available on Amazon MP3 Store, iTunes, and for download also from www.cdbaby.com. Check it out. That's me plugs out the way with. Um, right, yes, so the Mishbarach mode. Um, yeah, the fiddle that I'm going to play. Um, I use this fiddle for the slower tunes in, on the album. It's a lovely old fiddle and it was made in 1753. Um, it was actually made by a, um, presumably a chap who came from Germany originally, but he was working in London between 1730 to about 1760 called Remerus Leesum. And during that time he made these wonderful little fiddles and citterns and lutes and things. Some unique features about this fiddle, nice um, close grained Oh, nice little, oh, lovely little back, close green back, and um, quite an arch top. Nice little left holes, very neat little scroll. But the distinguishing feature of his fiddles, very wide, very wide ribs, and quite a short scale length. Lovely bass sound it has. That's my fiddle from 1753, and it's all mine. Um, Right, so the tune um, I'm going to play then, um, the scale I should say, the Mishberach mode. Um, in the key of G, this would work out G, and we have A, B flat, C sharp, D, E natural, F natural, G. It's a really nice one to improvise on. Um, we heard a lot in slow doinas, that's um, a sort of improvisation, true style of klezmer, this sort of thing. sort of thing. Lovely. You can just play with it for hours. So that's the Mishbarach, whatever it's called, um, scale. But um, a good tune to try in this key, and um, you can get from this book, which I mentioned in my first lesson, called um, The Complete Klezmer by Henry Saposnik. It's Tara Publications. It was first published in 1987. You can get it from Amazon. It's cool. A Desabolga is a faster tune in this Mishbarach mode. Um, let's say it's page 39 in the book. Just give you a quick blast through it. And also I'll show you some little tricks of the trade in Klezmer. Um, three basic things. Um, mentioned in the first lesson we do the little crutch, which is like a sobbing effect created by very lightly stopping the string, just almost touching it right at the end. Cut short the breath, sounds like a sob like this. <laughs> So you can see what I'm doing. Hang on. Oh, let's go look at this webcam thing. That sort of thing. Very subtle. That sort of thing. Um, rapid trills as well. There's hardly any vibrato. You go. And oh, what I did there. A very rapid scale run, almost like a glissando into a trill. That's very effective. Um, you put all those together and you have plasma music. <laughs> it's cool. Um, so a decibulga, just a quick blast through it so you get the gist of it. And um, hopefully you'll be able to see some of these little tricks of the trade. Um, uh, yeah, uh, key of G. I'm going to do this in. <laughs>
affects it. That makes what makes Klezmer music so amazing. Ah, I love it. Anyway, to find out more about Klezmer, um, check out this website called www.manchesterklezmer.org. Um, when, I, when I used to live in Manchester um, for many years, I was involved with a group called the Klezmer Collective. They run this website. Um, there's loads of really interesting historical information can be found there. Um, sadly, um, it's one of the founders, Michael Kahn, brilliant classical musician as well as a classical, uh, as well as a klezmer musician. Um, he was murdered in 2008. Such a tragic loss of talent. He really inspired me a lot with his klezmer fiddle playing. But his music lives on. Um, check out his own YouTube channel, um, which is called No Stress Music. You can hear some of his amazing klezmer music and some really beautiful classical performances. This is for you, Mike. God bless your soul. Bye for now.